What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my France Empire Total War Let's Play. So to round off about last time, everyone in Europe declared war, on, well not everyone in Europe, that's a bit melodramatic, but lots of people in Europe are declaring war at me, on me, and uh, they deserve to die. And so Savoy made it all the way up here to besiege Paris, I got a very hefty garrison, but I bought around my experienced army um, to attack them in the rear, because I need to destroy this force. Really need to destroy it. I think I should. So let's get going. So right now I am bankrupt. And I'm Maybe I don't get income from my capital while we had my capital be besieged, but for what? Um, and not for much, not for many clear reason. They only there's no it's not as though my ports have been blockaded or my trade routes been raided at least that severely. It was just because my capital's under under siege. To me, because they'll want to come to me because. Ooh, see if I deploy outside of the walls. They're not going to be in a good position to... They're going to be forming up while they're coming towards me. So let's do this. That. Unit of five in the centre. Two units of artillery. My, these are going to be my... Oh, they don't like the... They don't like the fence. And then let's do this. Then on the other side, my other units of artillery. And this and a unit of guerrillas. So this area is going to be pretty weak. This flank is going to be pretty weak. So my cavalry needs to do work, particularly once they've, but chiefly once they've committed. Lances. They're going to be wide. And I should get some reinforcements, but they might be the exact wrong side. They're on their flank. Um, but if they want to send units to def to fight this splinter force of two line, then I'll deal with that. Let's get ready. They could focus and isolate that unit of reinforcements before they enter the field, but... I don't know if they will. But I like the fact that there's just a penny packet of militia there, so if I can do this and force them to do battle... Oh, that was an excellent cannon shot, sir. Turn off fire at will. Charge in, because I don't want them to lose. I don't, don't want to lose any infantry needlessly to a cavalry attack. Cavalry charge. So I should win this battle. Regiment of horse versus Chevaux Leger and Lancers. Hold fire. I didn't realize they could deploy. Didn't realize they could deploy um, halt. Commit. Commit my forces. Commit my infantry to the fight critically. Provincial cav or oh, lots of cav coming out to the flank. Tag them before they run to my cav. Excellent. You can fire at will, because now the the cavalry you can see directly are Savoy cavalry. Oh, 
Oh, for, oh, I did not do the same, pay the same amount of effort to this flank. So where's my reinforcing infantry? Both fire canister, they're not within range yet, but they will be. Don't need to fire at them then. Canister shot at them. Round shot through there. Or if anything. on to them. Other cavalry, how are you doing? Big, big f fight here. That's why I want to wheel my infantry over to the right. Probably need to do that. Cavalry beginning to rout. Cavalry out. Charge them in. Cannons are going to be just cannons are going to be knackered. So get off whatever remaining volleys you can. Pikeman could be fairly devastating. Um, don't run out. Yeah, I'm losing my cannons, so it's gradually going to turn into quite the melee. Run these guys around the flank. I need to get as many kills on them as possible. Cavalry are, are oh excellent! Look at that. No, don't go straight into that unit of militia. Fall back. Yeah. They're allowing me just to shoot at their pikes. I will take it. Uh, right now, these units of eh, this flank, I feel fairly confident about. Nice shot at them. And once their general's bodyguard is committed, charge with my cavalry. General's bodyguard is nicely in the way. Run my line up. Enemy general is dead. The pikes are finally about to engage. And they could kill them, to be fair. Everyone charge in, because may as well. Get my cavalry in. They're retreating. Chase them down, do not let them reform. 
Right, other side of the field. You chase them down, you come with me. Go for them. You guys at this point, charge! You chase after them. God damn it, you chase after them as well. Everyone's role is to kill as many Genoans, Savoyans, Savoyards as possible, as I'm fairly sure. That's all of my cavalry committed as a random ragtag unit of. You ignore them, go for that big block. You are. You chase them down. 148. Hold canister shot. Chevrolet Leger. Actually, you go for them. Let's maximise the killing power of my cavalry. But when that unit breaks, that should be it. So I did use I did lose some cannons because um, it's a particularly strong flank. Broken and very tired, so my units here that are fresh should be able to chase them down and make the distance. Yeah, right now it's just a case of keep everyone killing. The more fresh the unit I can kill, or the more complete a unit I can kill. There you go. See, this is how sometimes the uh, hunting down mechanic is just not as good in Empire as it is in... as it was in Rome. Only 23 militia. If I could kill a militia unit. Perfect. Alright, so they've routed. Come back on the field to target this unit of militia. You target everyone target them. Everyone who's not chasing after someone. General. Target them. This thing, my cavalry units are sufficiently small that they're not gonna clean these things out as easily as they should. Just one man? Good. I'll take a one-man unit kill. So they've got away. General's chasing them down, but they're, they've got away. You chase after them as well, because I don't want you to get away. You over there. It's unfortunate that you'll probably get away. Bap. Mm. Yeah, they're going to get away. So I suppose the next thing is just to make everyone who isn't a cannon chase after these guys. Converge from all angles. <laughs> That's what you get for when you attack Paris, mon ami. Excellent. Easy, I could definitely do that. But, you know, there's always a moment where you kind of think, Ooh. if a few combats go one way or the other, it can have a massive deal. Cool, so they've been shattered. So now they're just effectively a raiding force. That's what they're doing. In which case, then, this army is probably more freed up. To okay, am I still bankrupt? No. Good. Cannot recruit anyone, though, but you... Go down there, get ready to take it out on their homeland. Um, still not happy. They might rebel next turn, but if they do and they try and attack me, then I'll see them off. Sabotaged farmland, city besieged, not anymore. Riots, diplomacy, Hanover. No, I don't want to request peace of Hanover, not the Iroquois, they're all the Barbary states. 
Persia. Yes, you can have improved grenades. It's just sufficiently far away for me not to care. Good, 6,000. And then up here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, Tiki, I'm having you. And then let's knock down the Warrior Lodge, knock down the communal farming. Not knock down Weaver's Cottage just yet. And send you guys down here. Cool, things are looking a bit more healthy now. Ah, 100% Catholicism is... F <laughs> Quebec is not 100% Catholicism, so you go and take hold of Quebec. It's true, you're not 100% Protestantism either, but... I see, they're in a bit unhappy because of bankruptcy, but I am no longer bankrupt. Yeah, if they attack, if the, if the rebels attack me, then I've got enough troops ready to ready to combat them. So the Savoyans will probably be very annoying and we'll just run around and raid everything. But if I just go and capture Turin, then the army that's raiding me will disappear, which is pretty cool. It's not really a hack per se, but it's a... It's an, well, it definitely isn't a hack, but it's a... You know, a bit of an exploit. You know that you don't really have to fight them because you know that if you fight them in an intelligent way, ooh, not a war with Denmark anymore either. That's pretty good. Right, is that Savoy? Savoy is raiding. Me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go on then, destroy that unit. So the, now the tr trick is here, as I've got time and Great Britain's gone, I can move my fleet to another port. I see, they want to try it. Unless now Savoy's knackered, do I push on to... Hmm. Sure, where is my best effort? Spent. My best effort could be. Rebellions grow in strength over time. The more they're left unchecked. Yeah, it's just a handful. There you go, and they're happy now, so they shouldn't be keep rebelling. Votre Majesty. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to filter out some of my weaker units, such as you, 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 and probably, probably my weaker cav. Run them there. Pick up some of these more complete line infantry units. Knock out the Savoy scraps. Repair that. Pick up my army, get ready to head east. I said destroy the Savoy army, so they're going to take time to... They're going to need time to rebuild, to threaten me. You, are you still shrinking? Education, inks, you better roads, miners. Bankruptcy. See, bankruptcy's still going up. I'm pretty much bankrupt. That's what happened when they... When they took that. Okay, let's go over here instead, actually. Let's go over to Iroquois Territory. Build a government building and build a farm to start scraping in some taxes. What's a blockade in the Netherlands? The Netherlands have rebelled. Oh, what? Really? What I have to do is repel one, two, three, four, five units of cavalry, then their attack finishes. Unless they're trying to... Let's see if I knock that down. Because, yeah, I'm afraid they'll raid this. Instead, where's my rake? Um, not diplomacy, not R&T. 
building browser? No. If I click, where's my agent? Hmm. Paris Bourbon. I need to make. I need money-making buildings. That's what I need. So not the college, or not the uh, farm, anyway. Or do I recruit more troops? Or do I retrain my troops? Importantly. That's what I do. And these guys head east. Take Cologne, because Cologne's a wealthy region. Push on, take Hanover, and then be careful, because I've got a front with Prussia. Or maybe I just take Cologne, force peace with Hanover. Yeah, workers are on strike in the Iroquois territory. How unhappy are they? Fairly. How about if I exempt you from tax? Good. Do that for a few turns. Smash in. Of course, the port's back up and running. I'm at peace with Great Britain, so raiding them doesn't get me as much. Ah, oh, I could be. Very, oh, I need to build the drill school. That's what I need to build. But I think I'm going to hit and turn. Imminent bankruptcy. You're spending too much money, and the upkeep is crippling. Oh, okay. So, not a bit. Oh, my wheel on my mouse gets stuck. Um, let's do that. There we go. By not building a farm, I've just managed to squeak out of not health being bankrupt. Every turn that Great Britain does, it's like, oh, if they declare war on me, this could really screw me up. Hmm. Sweden being Sweden. But the trick is to see if Hanover tries to lay siege. They've got a rake outside, so they could try open the gates, which if they did, that would be quite, quite devastating. Um, but he's outside, sabotaging buildings, so hopefully they try and attack me and try at least siege to... Oh, good. Might get some trading through that port now. More money. Aha! So they have tried to lay siege. siege. Let's do it. Yeah, in theory, all I have to do is cluster of infantry units have a way in, but I have to very studiously look at the... I do not want to line the walls up with people and go, this is going to be easy, and then just have them run in. Okay. Okay, please don't say they've got a good... Doors are shut. Hanover. You're over there. You're over there and over on the left. Get everyone in. Get on. How, how good are mercenaries? They're quite accurate. They're slow. And they have good range. So I'd like them to be in the centre spot like this. Then let's put that there, there. Put you... There, there, there. Then have some of these chaps. So they're deploying le like in those two directions. I need to have some round here just in case they they leak round the sides because some of them do. Then I need to jump. I'm really sure they don't open. The doors don't open after I click start. I'm fairly sure if they're open, they're open now. Good. So they're all over on the left. In which case then... They, these guys can stay here for now. Um, not really doing anything. But yeah, it's these units of... Because these are land, land wear militia. They look quite squidgy. So when they come up the walls, they should be quite easy to kill. This unit of regular line... See, this is why oh, I love defending forts. <laughs> Only level 1 though, because level 1 you've got such a concentration of people that it's really, really bloody for them to try and actually...
take the fort. It's really hard. Good, and my gorillas are in the right spot. There's one unit coming down the right. See, this is why you have... You keep an eye on all of the walls. Okay, and my gorillas are in. Yeah, see, so these guys are going to come straight at me. These guys are going to run around to the right and be killed. These guys are going to be killed on the left. This is fundamentally why without artillery, it's really difficult to get in. Because they rely on capturing the walls. That's what they need to do. And it just won't happen the way they think it will. There you go. They're routing before they've even got to the wall. So they'll be shot when they run away from the wall. They'll be shot when they get back. They're broken. They're still eager. But yeah, there's no easy ways in. I'm sorry, which is a colonial. These guys are colonial militia. They're rather spiffing looking colonial militia. Ah, there you go. They finally got some. a spot on the walls. Which I will turn. Net they are on. Guard mode is on. So they've got one route which they'll probably aggro on to try climb up, in which case then. Let's get these militia over here to plug this gap. Oh no, maybe not. Stand down. Oh yeah, see they've got up, but don't have bayonets, so even when they do get up they'll just get skewed by my guys that do. Or at least they don't have regular bayonets. They might have plug bayonets, but... Right, speed up time a bit, because... Chances are that a few of these guys will... Um, come back. Come on, let's get them back in position. Yeah, like them. They'll, they'll, they'll route, then they'll return. There you go, get these guys back in position. Fire onto that regiment of foot. Yeah. But this is the thing, you make them route... Then they just come back and then you fire at them again. Like you now we're all ready, ready and reloaded. So when they come within range again, the entire line opens up on them. You can see they're already wavering. This is I know this is kind of probably a bit like bullying now at this point. But yeah, I want you to recruit a few more guys in case a more serious Hanover stack comes my way. Um, but I think I should be okay with my new army coming in. Because these German armies generally like to recruit lots of militia rather than actual infantry. Similar to that Savoy stack, they'll recruit lots of... The army will look scary on paper, but when you start looking at the actual quality of the troops in it, then it becomes a different story. Cool, so they're finally routing. They're broken, broken. See, they're coming back. Eager. And these guys are probably eager too. Confident. You weren't so confident last time. Have you lost your officer? Oh, there he is. Right there. Got my crosshairs on his head. Trying to storm walls. Through. See, I don't... <laughs> these trees wouldn't be here. I'd have all them cut down. There you go. This is the thing without... Not fire... Well, actually, fire by rank doesn't come into it. In city battles, but it's just quite nice to have, like... Blam, blast of shot, blam, blast of shot, blam, blast of shot. See, if this is a pitch battle, I'd be a lot more concerned, because they have some... Gendarmerie aren't very good. Well, not, they're not very good, but, you know, the basic cav. These guys, Regiment of Horse, are actual named units. They've probably got some chutzpah. See, they're very tired, because they've literally been running back and forth. 
Yeah, they're routing. Yeah, just speeding this up a bit because it's only. Yep, they're routing, they're routing, they're routing. The shaken, not routed, we're wavering. Broken. And if these guys permanently, not permanently, they actually break, then. Should be a win to me, as long as none of them come back. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was the unit of cavalry. Yeah, when the infantry have left the field, it should be victory for me, because it's impossible for them to get into the map. So it's tempting, kind of like, ah, I'll just chase them down. You're like, no, if I open the doors, the cavalry start moving. So if I just stay here, let them run, then it'll be a win for me. And then they might be tempted to try it again, um, but then they will run away even faster because they are much more depleted. There you go. I am the finish line. <laughs> Heroic victory, of course, as you'd expect from... Lost zero. Ah, devastating retreat. That's right, off you go. But yeah, it says the rebellions grow in strength if we leave them unchecked, but I don't know if that means they still grow now, because they're happy now, so they shouldn't be rebelling. But eventually the the the, the, the rebellious army will try to lay siege to um, my to the Netherlands, so you need to be wary of that. A lot of the Moogles are coming. I see them just off screen. There they are. Oh, go on. Oh, no. Oh, that would be really useful. Yeah, let's do it. Just cull them quite severely just from coming close. There is unused Diplomacy. Poland Lithuania has declared war on me. Why? Will help the population to grow over time. Well, I'm going to call everyone because my allies are better than your allies. And everyone's joined me, including Austria. And Austria's right on your doorstep. So. Hmm. Okay, this army head. East. Oh, nuts. Good job I wasn't in range. Whew. So these guys might actually... I might send these down to hook up with these Savoy... With these, um... Sepoys. Yeah, I think I might do that. Create a second army and knock out Savoy. End that problem once and for all. And then probably leave... CZ in here. No. I'm trying to find where, I, where my rake is. Because I cannot find him. Don't want to fix the school, because it will just get raided and taken. I do need to... Oh, mm. Bulk his regiment. Expensive unit of Swiss Grands. Or do I get pikes? Pikes are from... Holland. But pikes are good against these guys because they recruit lots of calf. Like even Wurttemberg, I suspect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, precisely. New national leader, Louis the Fifteenth. Carbines. Okay. All the arm do physio physiocracy, Bordeaux, go for animal husbandry. Start pushing economic stuff. Military worker. Well, the arm's good for military then. Remember that. Any day now, spare. Oh God, you got you guys are depleted quite a lot. But yeah, they're they're happy. If I do that, they should still be happy. Um, resistance to foreign occupation is still going down. Cool. 
Um, but looking at the time, I think I'm going to end this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. We dodged a bit of a bullet there, and I'll see you next time.